Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you, tuning in to the day's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading. All right. So the overall energy of this reading is the devil. Capricorn energy, desires, addictions, obsessions. Feels like in the past you were really exploring addictions, obsessions. Um, I'm getting trauma bond here. In okay this feels like you've been exploring this devil energy in most of your lifetime from from the get-go it feels like you might have been in um, a toxic family environment where there was no love for you feels like in this toxic family system that there's this pretense like everyone's pretending that this is a happy home but there's no love here and there's definitely you're not treated in a loving way it also feels like you are treated in a way that you perceive that something's wrong with you feels like that's maybe what the story is, what the people in the environment that are meant to care for you and about you instead are, instead of you ending up hating the people who treated you so poorly and without love, it feels like you internalized that shame and that inner critic you internalized that there's something wrong with you, that you weren't given love. I think what makes this even more painful is that everyone's pretending, even you, you know, it feels like that's what the the family's unconscious agreements is that we all pretend that everything's great, that this is the happiest place in the world, but it's toxic and love doesn't live here. It looks like, it looks like when you would speak your truth. Ooh, doesn't feel like the truth was very welcome in this environment at all. It feels like that that makes you a problem to this toxic environment um, that you you will speak truths. Um, feels like there's a, a plan plan in the past, a strategy. Feels like the strategy is to get away from this family, to get out of the house, to move away from this energy. There's some type of strategy here. Feels like that you're strategizing, you're planning to get away from this corrupt group, this very two-faced type of environment. It doesn't work for you. You might be the scapegoat, the whipping boy in this environment. And so it feels like others who benefit from this environment stay, but you're not getting, you're not receiving any benefit because you're the lowest person on the totem pole. And there's an unconscious agreement in this family that poop rolls downhill. That those who are 
the weakest, those without power get picked on. It's a family structure based in uh, hierarchy, patriarchy, white supremacy. And so there's, it's silently, unconsciously okaying the mistreatment of those who are vulnerable instead of people who are empowered and in positions of power safeguarding those who are most vulnerable instead in this environment those who are most vulnerable are taken advantage of this is very toxic all right in the current energy we have the five of pentacles someone is abandoned feeling neglected feeling rejected someone's feeling very left out and abandoned who's who is this energy i think you have definitely experienced this energy of rejection and abandonment feels like you had to abandon yourself to be in this energy in the past. You had to abandon your own feelings, your own emotions. You had to abandon care for yourself to pretend to keep up the pretense. What do we need to know about the five of pentacles? What are the most important messages that the viewer needs to know right now? The sun in reverse. Someone's very unhappy about being abandoned and rejected. They can't learn a new way of being. This is a, someone's very abandoned, very sad. It doesn't feel like it's your energy. I feel like you understand what this feels like, what chronic sadness feels like, what being abandoned and neglected feels like. But the person who's in that energy, in this current energy, they don't learn anything new. And that doesn't feel like you. They're very stuck in an old pattern you're showing up in this current energy as the nine of pentacles so abundant independent focused on creating more abundance for yourself you've got some skill that you've been focusing on and i get the feeling you know that you you did separate yourself from this group in the past in the past when i was tuning into it you were strategizing and planning how to separate from this group and it looks like um it feels like whoever is feeling abandoned and sad who hasn't learned a new way of being feels like they're coming in wanting to unload onto you wanting to unload wanting to burden unload some burdens onto you someone who's feeling rejected and sad who is the five of pentacles how can we identify who that is anything that would help us yeah <clears throat> the knight of cups in reverse this is someone who it feels like they've in the past have been able to sweet talk you, tell you what you want to hear so you won't reject them or make you feel guilty for rejecting them. This person is very clever. They know exactly how to wound you. It feels like this is a bit f false. I'm getting this... Um, <clears throat> What? This is such an interesting story <laughs> that I've got. But I think if you've watched any war movies, 
there's um, I, I definitely saw this in uh, private, Saving Private Ryan but it's been in plenty of war movies where there's a sniper and they get someone's leg and out and but they don't kill the person they wound the person to get people to try to save the wounded person it's a it's it's a, it's a terrible tactic that i'm talking about here but that's what this person is showing up as they're feeling very wounded and very like help me help me i'm so wounded and they're trying to like pull on your heartstrings to get you to come towards them it feels like a trap <laughs> it's a trap <laughs> it does it feels like a trap they're wounded and it feels like as soon as if you if you're coming in to help this person then boom they unload onto you boom wounding very wounding messages and they they want to burden you with whatever it is that they've got going on such a specific message why is this person doing this what they're out of alignment and very sad you've moved on after a betrayal and have figured out where to focus your attention and your energy so you can grow abundance for yourself so they want to get you to let your guard down so they can be reckless with you and mess things up i get this feeling that this person is someone from your past who doesn't want <clears throat> you to love yourself doesn't want you to find true happiness you're you're just too intuitive though with the high priestess showing up feels like you're too aware you can spot this person in the trap a mile away you don't need me to tell you this i feel like if you never see this reading you're going you're not going to fall into this trap so so what's the use of this reading <laughs> so, all right moving on to what's hidden we have the hermit in reverse it does feel like someone's trying to get you out of isolation someone's trying to get to you it and it feels like they're using their woundedness to appeal to your kind-heartedness so they can get close to you and then wound you it feels like they want to wound you with what they say um what what messages so all right so yep okay so here's this rejected five of pentacles energy again with the page of swords they also don't like that you've rejected them they're i get the feeling this might be for some just a few of you but whoever this five of pentacles energy is someone that maybe you've abandoned you've gone no contact with it feels like they are in a story about how you abandon them how they feel very neglected very abandoned keeps coming up so this person feels very confident in how you've wounded them by not allowing them next to you but when they 
when you allow them next to you, close to you, they disabuse that position. So they don't, they feel very confident telling everybody about how they're a victim to your abandonment, but they, they're cleverly leaving out the part of why you are no longer allowing them into your energy. And it looks like um, this person does not have a relationship with the truth. It's the best way I can say that this person, um, this person does not walk with the energy of truth. This person uses communication to manipulate, to get what they want. Communication isn't about a relay of information, energetic exchange, um, connect, connecting, creating, it's control, it's manipulation. So this person is definitely um, controlling some narrative and there it, there's definitely childhood wounds here feels like this person is wanting to get you really upset this is a bully it feels like in the past this person would be able to say something behind closed doors just and just wound you in your emotions overwhelmed and it was hard and and it feels like you you didn't even in the past perceive really fully that the woundedness came from that person but you were just wounded and maybe it was crazy making and maybe that was even the story you know there, there's something wrong with you but yeah there's something wrong with me my environment and people who are um playing with my reality, playing with my emotions. It feels like the, they really enjoy seeing you upset. They get a hit, a kick out of it. And so it feels like this is someone who hasn't evolved at all. And they wanna come back in and, and take you down a couple notches. Because you're not supposed to be this independent. You're not supposed to have all these finances and these blessings coming to you. It doesn't fit with the storyline that this person and this family has, that you would be independent from them and then be successful, be more successful, more abundant, more stable, more loved, not abandoned. So the family, the, it feels like a family, whatever this group is, this toxic group, it, um, they don't want you in the family, but they don't want you to find success outside of the family because what does that say about the family or whatever, the, whoever this group is? Hey, they're just so worried about the perception. <laughs> if this family unit would spend time on healing and nurturing and creating and growing things, instead of it feels like they're very dedicated to a top-down structure patriarchy um white supremacy colonization like the structures in our society that are very you know there's a few people in power and everybody else is is burdened by the weight there's a inequality in this structure and it feels like it feels like you it, it's not good for business it's not good for this group that you left it and did better because that's not what's supposed to happen wow good for you <laughs> good for you ruining their plans all right, in the outcome and advice, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. A lack of options. I 
get this. There's not, it doesn't feel like there's a lot. Let me switch card decks. Uh, what? What's the advice for the viewer? Okay, those who don't learn new ways of being, that this page of pentacles in reverse came up near the five pentacles in this main energy. Someone not learning from their mistakes, not learning a new way, they're just stuck. It doesn't work, but that's, that's the pattern I'm stuck in. It feels like they don't have any other option. I was just saying, you know, if they use this same energy instead of trying to block you from your happiness and your abundance, it feels like it, um, if they focused on changing what their reality is instead of trying to block yours, but they're not, they can't. It's like they, they really, they're, they're stuck in a way of doing things and it feels like blocking it feels very dedicated to patriarchy and trying to trying to scramble up and get power and there's something there you can't leave the structure even though it feels like you abandoned you were thrown out or you were treated horribly in the past but you're not allowed to move on and have success you're allowed to move on and fail miserably and they would never bother you but you succeeding it somehow it it sheds a light on that this family this group is not what they say they are wow the high priest is coming up again and the fool card that's your that's talking about the fool card is zero it's the first deck in the tarot deck taking a leap of faith starting something new trying something new using your intuition your very intuitive second time the high priestess has come out in this reading and in regards to you so what i'm getting here is that there are those from whatever group family whatever this toxic group has been that i've been describing that they don't have the options you do because they can't learn anything new they're stuck in their patterns they don't see any other way of being whereas your energy you're using your intuition to create and see new patterns new lessons with the full card and that's making all the difference here wow 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 all right that's your reading i hope this was helpful this feels very positive i love from the past to present, maybe a little future as well. Feels just absolutely amazing. It feels very validating how far you've come. Maybe even acknowledging and validating yourself and where you've come from and how, the amount of strength and courage it's taken to become you the authentic version of you what you've had to go through it feels like very few people even know the the details of what you've experienced and have are still dealing with so all right hope that's helpful take care bye